All right, so we're here with our latest creation. Um, this is the two by four and two by six trestle picnic table. You know, um, we wanted to get some picnic tables here for the farm this coming summer uh, to have for some barn parties, but I just don't like the look of traditional picnic tables. For one, they're clumsy. They usually have the boards that come way out. They're hard to store and they end up being not very sturdy. So we created it with a trestle base, which really gives it a nice, unique look. Um, believe it or not, these are really easy to create. Each of these trestles are created with simple miter saw, 45 degree cuts, um, two two by four by eights and a two by six at the bottom, a three footer, will create these each of these trestles. And then we have a two by six board that goes across, gives it immense amount of strength. I mean, this thing is strong. So to build the table itself, you have uh, seven two by sixes that includes what you would use down here, and then four uh, two by four by eights. And you get this six foot long, almost 36 wide. I think it measures about 35. It really depends on where you want to put your gaps. But more importantly, with these five foot benches, they can actually nestle right inside, which is really nice for storage. It's really nice when you don't want the picnic table to be out. And these themselves are all built from two by fours. Uh, you know, just a, a few two by tens. I think it's three or four. You can build these benches, but they can come out. You know, one of my pet peeves of, of uh, picnic tables I'm kind of a big guy at 6'4". I have trouble sometimes getting over those boards. You don't have to worry about with this. So almost looks like an outdoor dining table as a picnic table. So latest DIY project on the blog. I think this one will be a big hit in the summertime. Really looks nice outside. You could drill a hole in it for a, for a um, umbrella if you want, but uh, a really good project, a fun project. And believe it or not, you can complete this in about three or four hours with pretty common tools.